functions as representations of real-life situations. Functions as mathematical models can be written in the form of y is equal to f of x. Do not be confused about y and f of x because they are just the same. Sometimes we use f of x instead of y or y instead of f of x. For whatever acceptable value or values of the independent variable x, a corresponding value of y is derived. It can also be used to predict what a system will do for different values of the independent variable. To construct an appropriate functional model will lead to a better understanding of various phenomena. Example number one. A function C represents the cost of buying X volume meals. If one volume meal costs 45 pesos, construct a mathematical model. Now, to construct a mathematical model, first we need to go back to the given statement. A function C represents the cost of buying X volume meals. It means that cost depends on the number of meals, which is X. Now, we can represent this as C of X. Next, one volume meal costs 45 pesos. So it means that the amount per volume meal is 45 pesos. Therefore, we have 45x. A function C represents the cost of buying x volume meals or C of x is equal to 45x. And this is now the mathematical model that will represent to the given problem. Example number two. Construct a mathematical model that describes the trend in the relationship of x and f of x. Now, observe this given table of values. We have values of x and values of f of x. Now, what are the relationships between x and f of x? Now, we're going to find a pattern that will show the relationship between x and f of x. Now, let's start with the first ordered pair. If x is 1 and f of x is negative 4, the possible relation that we can get is that negative 4 is equal to 1 minus 5, which is correct. Now, on the second ordered pair, we have negative 1 is equal to 2 minus 5. Now, you have observed that negative 1 is not equal when we subtract 2 and 5, or 2 minus 5, the result is negative 3. Therefore, it does not satisfy to this given relationship. So we will not proceed to the next ordered pair, but we need to go back and look for another relationship that will satisfy all the given values in the table of values. Let us now look for another pattern that will satisfy to the values of x and f of x. Let us now try to square the value of x if it will satisfy. Let us now start with the first ordered pair. Negative 4 is equal to 1 squared minus 5. Since 1 squared is 1 minus 5 is equal to negative 4. And this is correct. The next ordered pair, we have negative 1 is equal to 2 squared minus 5. 2 squared is equal to 4 minus 5 is equal to negative 1. And still correct. Let us now proceed to the third ordered pair. 4 is equal to 3 squared 
minus 5 and 3 squared, that is 9, minus 5 is equal to positive 4. Still correct. Let us proceed to the fourth ordered pair. 11 is equal to 4 squared minus 5. And 4 squared is 16 minus 5 is equal to 11. Still correct. Let us proceed to the final ordered pair. We have 20 is equal to 5 squared minus 5. Since 5 squared is 25, minus 5 is equal to 20. And this is also correct. So therefore, the relationship between x and f of x, we have f of x is equal to x squared minus 5. The mathematical model is f of x is equal to x squared minus 5. Example number 3. A rectangular lot next to a building is to be enclosed by a 300-meter fence. Create a function A that represents the area that can be enclosed in terms of x. Now, before we can create a function, we need to illustrate first the given problem. So we have a building and adjacent to it is the rectangular lot. So you have observed that the rectangular lot, we need to fence the three sides of the given rectangular lot. And the side adjacent to the building, we do not need to fence that side. So you have observed that we have only three sides. And since we're looking for a function that represents the area, so we have a of x. So it means the area is a function with respect to x is equal to the area of the rectangular lot. And since we use x and y, therefore we have a of x is equal to x times y. And since we're going to fence the rectangular lot, we need to use the formula of a perimeter of a rectangle. You have observed that since there are only three sides that we need to fence, we have perimeter is equal to x plus 2y. Since we do not need to fence the side adjacent to the building. Since the rectangular lot is to be enclosed by 300 meter fence. Gagamitin natin ang formula na P is equal to X plus 2Y. At isasubstitute natin ang 300 sa P. So 300 is equal to X plus 2Y. You have observed that this equation involves two variables, X and Y. Ngayon, we need to rewrite this equation in terms of x. Para ma rewrite natin ito, in terms of x, we will transpose x on the other side of the equation. So we have 300 minus x is equal to 2y. By commutative property, pwede natin ipagpalit yung dalawang side ng ating equation. Meron tayong 2y is equal to 300 minus x. Para makuha natin yung y at ma-rewrite natin yung equation in terms of x, kailangan natin i-divide both side of our equation ang 2 sa, y, sa 2y natin. So ngayon, magiging y is equal to 300 minus x all over 2. So ito na yung value ng y natin. Ngayon, Balikan natin. Since we're going to create a function of A that represents the area that can be enclosed in terms of X. Kung natatandaan nyo pa, yung A of X natin is equal to X times Y. So since meron na tayong Y, kailangan na natin itong substitute 
sa given equation natin. So, a of x is equal to x times 300 minus x all over 2. Now, by simplifying the expression in the right side of our equation, we have 300x minus x squared all over 2. So, the area with respect to x is equal to 300x minus x squared all over 2. Simplify this. We, we can also rewrite this as 300x over 2 minus x squared over 2. Or, the area of x is equal to 150x since 300x divide 2 minus 0.5x squared since 1 half of x squared. So this is now the area that will represent in terms of x. So a of x is equal to 150x minus 0.5x squared.